Hi, my name is Sean Mabry, I'm a writer, and today I wanted to share a very important lesson with you that I just discovered recently, because uh, over on the blog I set myself up a little challenge called 12 Weeks, 12 Stories. I was kind of tired of only writing about writing on the blog, and I felt like it was kind of cutting into my, my actual fiction writing, so I figured, like, well, why not just put the fiction on the blog? And that'll force me to write more fiction, force me to get stuff out faster, and it's been going great so far. I'm really happy with the, the first three stories I've gotten out on the blog, but one of the things I realized very quickly um, with all three of these stories is that the second I hit publish on each one of these stories, I immediately was, was, was flooded with things I, I would have done differently. And the reason why this is such an important lesson is that there is no replacement for shipping as an artist. There's no replacement for putting the work out there in a way that is final, in a way that says, here it is, it's done, this is, this is what the thing is. It's not an idea anymore, I'm not working on it, this is it, this is the thing, it's done. Because until you cross that threshold, yes, you can have ideas, yes, you can have uh, you know, different versions in mind of, of the work you're, you're creating. You can have all these different ways you might want to tweak it, but all of those are, are just theoretical, and they don't feel real. This is, I think, part of why so many people get caught in the, the, the cycle. And, you know, and I've been caught in it before, too. We, we, we all do get to this point at some point. But get caught in the cycle of working on one long project forever that they never actually finish. It's because unless you put a deadline on it, unless you ship it, all these different possibilities, um, they're, they're not tangible. You might be, you know, they, they, they feel like nice-to-haves versus, Ugh, I wish I had done that differently. And the thing is, as, as much as it's uncomfortable, that feeling of like, ugh, I wish I'd done that differently, that's where real learning happens. That's when you really truly develop in your craft. Because as long as it's all theoretical, as long as, you know, it's, it's, the, the project has no deadline and you could, you could theoretically go and change it at any time because you're going to be working on the same thing forever, that's not learning. That's, that's, just, that's experimentation without any conclusions without any data drawn from the experiment. So ship, 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 ship. Have deadlines, finish things, put them out into the world because that will teach you so much more than sitting alone and trying to ponder and figure it out and try to get it perfect before you ship. There is no better teacher than shipping. So ship and ship fast. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.